Hello and welcome to The Real Unreal. This is the fifth and last episode of the Health and Damage series, where we will learn how to add a health bar to the viewport. Let's get started. Project Setup We will continue from where we left off in the previous video. Link in the description. Let's create a widget for the health bar. In the Health and Damage directory, right click User Interface Widget Blueprint. As the parent class, select User Widget. Name it WBP underscore Health UI. Open it, and here we will add two elements one canvas panel and one progress bar. We will be updating the progress bar widget percentage to reflect the character's health. Select the progress bar and set the following values. Set position X to 50. Set position Y to 50. Set size X to 500. Set size Y to 50. Set percent to 0 0.5. Set fill color and opacity to red. Now let's go to the widget graph on the top right corner. Delete all the events except for construct. In this construct event, which is the equivalent of begin play for widgets, we will listen to the on health change event from the health component. To achieve this, we need a reference to our character. Search for Get Owning Player Pawn and make a cast to third person character. If the cast succeeds, search for Get Health Component and then search for Bind Event to On Health Changed. Drag from the Event Ping and search for Add Custom Event. Name it On Health Changed. This event will be executed every time our character's health changes, so we can use it to update the percentage of the progress bar. This percentage requires a number between 0 and 1, being 1 equal to 100%. We can calculate this value by simply dividing health by max health. As you can see now, we only have the value of health, so let's update our health component to get both values. Open the health component, select the on health change event dispatcher, and add a new input of type float. Name it max health. Now, in the event graph, go to the call on health change node and pass in the value of max health as the input of the same name. Compile, save, and go back to the widget. As you can see now, the event have the two values we need to calculate their percentage. If you can't see it yet, right click on on health change and select refresh node. This will fix it. Next, calculate the percentage by dividing health by max health. Also, add a clamp node from the division result. Minimum 0, maximum 1. Drag the progress bar variable to the graph and search for set percent. This function updates the percentage of the progress bar. Pass in the calculated value and our custom event is ready. Last, to update our progress bar for the first time, after doing the bind in the event construct, manually call the on health change event and pass in the values from the health component. This step is required because the event only gets executed when our health changes. And when we just begin to play, this hasn't happened. And health is in its initial state. With this, we are updating the progress bar to that initial state. Compile, save, and we finish the creation of the widget. Now let's add the widget we just created to the viewport. Open the third person character blueprint, search for the begin play event, and at the end, add a create widget node. In class, select the one we just created, 
which is WBP Health UI. Then, from the return value, drag and search for Add to Viewport. This will add the widget to our screen. Compile, save, and press play. You will notice that the health bar has been added to our screen. Also, if you take damage or heal, it gets updated correctly. And that's it for the fifth and last episode of the health and damage series. I hope you like it. If so, I invite you to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on social networks. I'll be uploading Unreal Engine 5 tutorials frequently, and right now I'm working on an entire course for beginners. Thank you for joining and hope to see you in the next video.